Hey guys and girls, Anthony for Before Diesel. I'm about to tell you about something. It's a really simple diagnosis, but it's another really, really good reason. To have something like this, the scan gauge too, or whatever scan tool you like, that you can actually see the coolant temperature. See the top left, 25 degrees. See the fuel gauge on the top right, up there on the dash, right? Over here, you can see them over here. It's not telling you much, is it? It could be sitting anywhere. Look over here, 26, we know to the degree. And there's a whole lot of other reasons to have one of these things, but it doesn't matter at the moment. So yeah, a whole lot of reasons to have one of those. Um, you know, reading and clearing DTCs, also monitoring the trans temp, which you would have seen in a number of videos lately, in that playlist, trans automatic transmission, scan tools, DTCs, whatever. But the issue we got here is, and this is very rare for Toyotas, especially, I'll say the 1KDs. There's a the thermostat part number if you want one. They're only about 20 bucks. It's the seal that's expensive. That rubber seal there, it doesn't come with it. It's about eight bucks, so make sure you get that as well. But anyway, the point is, the point, very rarely, I would say 999 out of 1,000 minimum, thermostats are working 100% and I don't see any problems. And that means like, when they're at full temp, when we see them in the workshop, they're idling at 83. You know, you're driving, they're 84, 85, 86, 87. It means they're hard to drive at 88, 89, 90, and how hot it is, and, and it goes on from there, right? But normal range, 75 to 90, idles 83. Quite often you'll see 83 to 86, you know, you're in business. If you see idle and it never warms up and it's at 78 or 81 or whatever, you know, it's a little bit off. So that's not a big deal. <coughs> Excuse me again, like usual. Um, it's not a big deal, but what you need to know is when you're driving, is it, is it 86? Oh, good. Is it 87? Good. Is it 88? Good. Because if you're driving and it's 95 or 98, or if it's 75 or 70 or 66 or something like that, well, guess what? You know, you got problems, mate. It's running cold, so it could be running richer. It doesn't know where it's at. Um, different uh, things get controlled based on what temperature things are. You know, transmission operation could change in some vehicles. Anyway, so the point is, this is a really, really weird one. I've probably had maybe two or three thermostats that are not quite, you know, spot on, bang on with the idle at 83, but I reckon I've probably seen, I don't know, thousands, 10,000, however many certainly are, and there's only a couple that aren't. Now this one, it's massively out. The engine wouldn't warm up. Right, you see the problem. Can everyone see the problem already? A thermostat, right? This is what controls the water, right? So when it's in the vehicle, see it's got this little, it's got this little thing here that allows a little bit of water through, right? That'll um, help bleed the cooling system and get the air through. But um, where most of the water goes through is in that middle section here between my fingers there, right? Right, see this? This opens up, it slides. See this, right? So basically, Long story short, because we don't like, people don't like too many long stories. It's slowly, it should be fully closed. So the problem is you can see the air gap through there. See around here, you can see, everyone can see the air gap. You see behind, like, if you can see my fingers, all right, see behind there, you can see, all right, you can see, 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 see. If I say, see any more times, I'll be going to get a packet of CCs or something. Anyway, right, see? Okay, I'm out of here. Oh, yummy, yummy. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to be getting any CCs. Anyway, so it's stuck open a little bit, right? You can see the gap there, which means, so what's the job of the thermostat? Let's back to basics for a minute, because we haven't really talked a lot about thermostats, simply because we don't have problems. Now, people, some people, they, a lot of people get the BFE kit from me, all right? Mondays from 7.30 a.m., text me. You, you know, it'll be sorted Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, and you'll get it eventually. Express post, it all happens pretty quick. You know how it works. Check out the videos, BFE playlist. Anyway, this, this Dubalaki here, right, the thermostat's job is to control, see it says 82 there? So I'll say 83, but 82 is what's happening here, but by the time it gets to the sensor, if you know what I mean. So that's the variation, one degree. So the job is it's meant to be closed, so it stops the flow, so the, the engine can warm up, then your heater will work and all that sort of thing, and there's a bottle, and the heater's gonna work first anyway, and all that sort of thing, but, and this doesn't open until it gets to 82. And it opens up a little bit, and it lets a little bit of coolant through, goes through your cooling system, through your radiator. Obviously that's the hot stuff, you know, it goes through and it cools down, it comes back in the other end, nice and cool, probably, I don't know, 70. I'm, you know, we should get the uh, infrared thermometer out for that one and check it out, but I don't really know or care. It doesn't really matter, right? So I don't waste time on things that don't matter. Um, 
So, and then the cold, cold, cool stuff comes in. Beautiful, right? Happy day. So, one of the main components, obviously, is the radiator because that's what's cooling it down. And if you're sitting in traffic, the fan to pull air through the radiator because there's no airflow when you're sitting still in traffic. So, if you're overheating problem, basics 101 on cooling systems. It's that simple, really. You've got a water pump pumping the coolant. You've got the radiator doing all the cooling, full stop. And you've got the fan is only helping if you're stopped or traveling slowly. You could take your fan off and travel at 100 degrees. It doesn't matter because 100 k's, I should say. All the air is going straight through the radiator. You do not need a fan, okay? You get you get my drift, right? Picture that. So the slower you're going, so zero kilometers, you need the fan. 10, you need the fan. 20, you probably need, you get a bit of airflow. You get what I mean? As you go faster, you gradually just don't need it once you've got enough airflow, right? Now, so that's what's doing the cooling. This is controlling the flow. That's the name. Thermostat. Thermostat, right? So that can be stuck open. That can, if it's stuck shut, then you're going to, obviously, that's going to warm up and it's going to run too hot. If it's stuck open, it's going to take a long time to warm up, stuck open, because you've got too much of that flow, too much flow going on. So you've got that cold stuff coming. So it's going out at 50 and it's coming back in at 40. So how's it ever going to warm up? Well, if you drive it and drive it hard, it might warm up anyway, but it's not good right the situation is the manufacturer designed the vehicle the engine everything to work at those temperatures like the transmission um so you don't want it running too hot or too cold you want it running just right as much as possible so torque converter lock for the auto and good thermostat for the 1kd all right so stuck open this one running hot so a lot of people as i was saying before before we got distracted with cc ccc or something like that they say oh you know can i get a thermostat with that but you don't need a thermostat okay I've actually had a faulty thermostat. So out of the few that we've replaced, and at one stage it was, yeah, we're doing it, doing an engine, we're gonna put a thermostat in the engine, because you know, you do new this, new that. Mate, we had faulty idling at 85, 86. So, you know, it's a lot of work to change it. So, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't change your thermostat, just change the seal. But whatever you do, if you've got your thermostat out for any reason, or you're changing your turbo, or you're doing a BFE, and you want to buy yourself an o-ring i'm not going to supply them no 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 you can buy yourself an o-ring if you want if you want to pull it out but there's no need to pull it out and check it or do anything if you've got that scan tool because you can monitor that it's running at the right temp there's so much value to a something like that scan gauge 2 scan gauge 3 whatever you want i don't care what you get auto fix 3210 whatever it tells you the the coolant temp right so all right you get the picture i think we're about done get it this one's stuck open it was running cold it's very rare so i thought i'd tell you about it there's a heap of lessons in this video i hope you liked it hope you subscribe turn the bell on so you can keep collecting more of the genuine real information as i keep saying this is just one more piece of that million piece jigsaw puzzle hit the like button butter bing butter boom all right catch you on the next one see ya